all right so i'm back on this farm at shion area of ogun state the last time i was here was a couple of months ago and this was the only structure on ground and um, at that time there were no cages inside it's actually a mixed farm we have a blend of crop farming and uh, poultry maybe fish is going to come soon i don't know so we have maize we have cucumber we have a lot of crops on ground this is the nursery for uh, some of the crops and uh, you know everything is about to kick start we have now um at that time when i came i came to mark out the broiler house over which is under construction right now you can see them fixing the roof all right and um you can see i also marked out the feed meal which is over there i'm going to be showing you the details later and i'll take you inside this part now and show you the cages that are already installed yeah so you get um, a closer look and before then maybe you should just have a look at the overview of the entire farm and if you remember this is actually the farm that i used to explain what you can get from a 5,000 capacity layer house and this particular one would house about 4,600 and something you know close to 5,000 very close to 5,000 so being in control of your investment is a very critical part of poultry farming and like many investors the owner here has also installed cctv camera and i think that and a lot of other things will be powered by the solar panel you know the solar system that has been installed on the farm so everything is about to kick start in full gear all right so we are in and these are the cages installed already last time they were not here so on each line we have about 24 yeah i think 24 units on each line and uh, you know here and there two lines they are already fitted with the nipple drinkers and um, the feeding trough but there's one important thing i would like to mention here this is quite okay but it's cheap yeah it's a good one for whoever owns the farm it's cheap but then want to look at how efficient it would be because uh, you see this aluminium or i don't know is it aluminium or zinc whatever this material there are some points where it's joined or there are some points where it's uh, broken i want to look for an example like this you know this was patched kind of so as maybe the workers have used the feed uh, bowls to serve feed inside it and you know they're here around 12 noon there are still some feed inside and they want to just spread it i think this is fairly used so it came with this set of cages but i'm going to advise the plastic type so let me continue my explanation so they are here around 12 they want to spread the feed you know from one end to the other end over there and it has to be a quick or fast process so they are just going all the way they are just moving their hand inside the feeding trough and they get to places with bricks like this it's going to cut their hand and any daily operation that gives you a negative memory memory of accidents those things you don't have to process it automatically or subconsciously you don't want to do them so even when you are doing them you are doing them reluctantly and you will not be that efficient because it gives you a bad memory memory of accident so you don't want that and apart from that you want a feeder that is continuous you want to install feeders in a way that it is continuous you join feeder a to b to c to d you know all the way down to the hand that's how it's supposed to be so as you are trying to you know serve the feed or you're trying to spread the feed you are just moving your hand you can even be doing it and talking you can be doing it and also checking the breaths at the same time to see if there's any casualty to see if there's any sickness to see you no know, you want to do all these things simultaneously you don't want to be so cautious 
because this thing can cut your hand or because they are not joined together when you are serving the feed with the bowl in the morning as you are pouring you get to this side you have to stop you have to continue from this end you know it's so much of a careful procedure and i tell you not every worker will be efficient doing it sometimes they have to stop here because they don't want to pour it here and they just continue here and they are rushing they forget that they didn't pour feed here the bed at this corner will miss feed and you know my staff for a while and others who want to be more generous will pour and they get to here and you know some feed will fall they do the same here let's say it's 50 50 grams of feed that pour from each corner you know that's a lot of feed at the end of the day so in summary these feeders are not efficient and i'm going to say that to the owner so possibly this is going to be changed to the plastic feeders i want to believe they are already thinking that all right so this is the other line and i'm at the back or the other end of the pen so this is the pit and you can see it slopes gently downwards and this is a perfect way it should be i want to believe that at some point they'll be able to use manual scrapers here uh you want to mechanize as much processes as possible so that the whole thing will be easy and efficient yeah so i think this place is going to be broken it's going to be broken soon the manual scraper moves the waste down here and you know the workers just assist it to push it through here and this pit is joined to the next outside that is the first row you can see the two so this one too will be broken and the whole come together here and the worker continues to push it assist it into this pit and don't forget this is an integrated farm kind of so from here we are going to have the manure dryer to dry it and then we'll be using it for crop farming you can see this irrigated part of the farm let me just walk you close to it so you can see the irrigated part of the farm you can see the workers on the far end there they are doing some irrigation work over there yeah yeah so this entire space is irrigated up to the front over there near the feed mill you can see the feed mill is and it's now far off this is quite um a big portion of land so the feed mill is are far off and it's at the entrance of the farm and that's kind of the best place we can have it here and from the back side here you can see the new broiler house over there yeah that's it under construction over there and the slates that are going to be used to roof it the asbestos i think that's what we we'll call it is over there on the sides i'll move close to it now so you can have a clear view and the dimension of this is um i think 80 by 35 feet that was what i uh, instructed then and that's exactly what i met now that's quite impressive the height too is okay the height of the broiler house yeah sorry the way i'm breathing i'm walking across um ridges you know all this place you know we have plantain we have um pop you know, a lot of things planted here so i'm just walking on the ridges Okay, so we are getting closer to the broiler house and you will see the slates. I actually like, personally I like using slates because um, it doesn't radiate heat that much compared to zinc, aluminum, you know, it's preferred. It's also a quiet covering. When it starts to rain, for example, if you have zinc or aluminum roof there's a bit of noise especially in the brooding section the birds are still new to almost everything so when they are hearing that kind of sound they are alarmed they are troubled and they tend to run from one part of the house and all crowd at the side or at one corner of the house and that's really bad for them in case there's um, no light or no worker around to spread them out afterwards 
so it can cause a major accident so you can see the slate here ready to be put on top of the roof yeah layer after layer so this is going to be a broiler house and the wall the skirt of the house the low wall is okay that's just about um one and a half coaches of block yeah it's okay once everything is covered it looks more appealing yeah so are you a soon to be layer or broiler farmer and you think you've learned something from this video or is there anything you think that should be done but then we have not done it okay let me know that in the comment section thank you and see you in the next one bye bye